What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We're going to wrap up our SEC predictions here in this video, show you what the standings are going to look like based off of my predictions, and then of course give you the conference championship game prediction as well. A reminder, we've gone through every single team in the SEC. We're pretty much done with all the Power 5 teams, just a few left. And so we go through all the teams, show you how I am predicting the season to go, and then we recap it. Uh, going through each conference and then of course through the college football playoff as well so we'll start in the sec west i've got mississippi state going two and six in the conference six and six overall i do think this team gets to a bowl game um again a lot more thoughts on each team in those individual team videos so i'm not going to go too much in depth here but i think mississippi state's going to have uh, a decent season here i think they you know a, a little bit of a step back from last year but still some talent on the roster uh, the, over, the overall, the SEC is going to be very competitive this year, so I think it's going to be tough for teams like uh, Mississippi State, Missouri, you know, those types of teams that I think are going to be pretty good. Uh, they just play a lot of other really good teams in the SEC, so I've got them there. I've got Auburn also going six and six, two and six in the conference. A tiebreaker, I did pick Auburn to beat Mississippi State. Uh, I, I think a lot of people are expecting a little too much from Auburn. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. I think the future is very, very bright. You look at the way that Hugh Freeze has already been recruiting. I think Auburn's going to be back at the top of the SEC or in that top group very, very soon. I just don't think it's going to be this year. I don't think they have the roster just yet. Uh, maybe they could do a little bit better than this, but they could also probably do worse. They could go 5-7 and seven and miss a bowl game. So I've got them right there at 6-6. Six and six. And then just ahead of them, Arkansas at 7-5, and 3-5 and five in the conference. Uh, I think this is going to be a quality team. But again, you're looking at a team that's going to have to play a lot of other really good teams. And they've got a really tough schedule. Uh, they have a really tough stretch where I think it's like four games in a row, three or four games in a row where they don't play at home uh, in the SEC. So it's a tough schedule for Arkansas. Uh, maybe they can do a little bit better than 7-5. and five, But that's where I've got them. So 7-5 and five for Arkansas. And then we've got, and I guess I accidentally put all these in, in, in together. But Ole Miss at 8-4. and four. Four and four in the conference. I think the Rebels have a chance to be good this year. Um, I like what they've added in the transfer portal. I think that's really going to to help keep them right there where they have been uh, a program that's you know been very consistent the last few years as as a top 25 team. Uh, Texas A&M at nine and three, five and three in the conference. I think this team also will have a very good year this year. They were young last year, and I was not super high. I know a lot of people had te Texas A&M finishing or having them preseason ranked really high last year. I did not. Uh, they weren't. They were worse than I thought they were going to be. But this is a team that that was really, really young. And now you've got some of those young guys, talented players with a little bit of experience. I think that's going to bode well for them, um, and I think they're going to really bounce back. Also, they lost a lot of close games last year, so I think the Aggies will bounce back. I got them at nine and three. LSU at 11 and 1, 7 and 1, their only loss coming to Alabama. Uh, this is a playoff contender. I, I really like what they've got on both sides of the ball. This is just going to be a really good LSU team. But yeah, I do have Alabama finishing at the top despite going 10 and 2. So I think LSU has the better overall record. But I think both teams go 7 and 1. Alabama beats LSU at home. And I do have Texas beating Alabama. And you know, I made that prediction back in in early June, I guess, when I started these predictions. And so there's plenty of time to change my mind, but I haven't. I, I still think Texas is going to beat Alabama. And so I'm sticking with that prediction. But I do think because of the way it falls in the conference, I think Alabama does still win this division. And I think they go to the SEC championship. Again, though, I did start those predictions a long time ago. If I was going to make a couple changes here, I'd probably change the Arkansas-Texas A&M game and I'd change the Auburn-Ole Miss game. So, again, if I was doing the predictions today, Starting from scratch, that would put AM at 8 and 4. It would put Ole Miss at 7 and 5. It would put Arkansas at 8 and 4, and it put Auburn at 7 and 5. So we would raise uh, we would raise Arkansas up to number four in the division, and then Auburn would move up and Ole Miss move down a little bit. Uh, but we're gonna stick with our original predictions here. These are the official predictions. But again, if I was going to change something, I would maybe change those two games around, uh, and those would change the order here just a little bit. Uh, so that's it for the West. Let's go to the SEC East. I've got Vanderbilt and Missouri finishing at the bottom. Uh, I just did Vandy a couple days ago. I don't think they're going to be terrible. I think they're going to be a, a decent team, but I just think everyone else is better. And, you know, maybe they find a way to win a game somewhere in the SEC, but 
I think every team will be better than them, and I didn't I didn't pull the trigger on a win for them. So I've got them going three and nine. Again, more competitive than they have been in in recent years, kind of like they were last year. But I just don't think they quite come up with those wins this year. Uh, Missouri, an underrated team. I've got them at six and six, two and six in the conference. Wouldn't be surprised if they did better than that. Could even see them maybe going seven and five. Um, again, that, that would not shock me there. And I do have them upsetting Kansas State. Uh, we go ahead of them. Florida, 5-7, and 3-5 and five in the conference. And it's really just about the schedule. I don't think Florida's going to be terrible. I actually think it's more likely that Florida goes 4-8 and eight than 6-6. Six and six Because I had them um, beating, I can't remember if it was Missouri or South Carolina. And I could see that game going the other way. And so, yes, this is a Florida team that I think is not going to be terrible, but I think their schedule is just is brutal. I think it's the worst, the toughest schedule in all of college football. I, I showed you that on my schedule rankings, and I think that schedule is going to be too much for them. So a 3-5 and five record in the SEC, that doesn't sound terrible, but 5-7 and seven overall because of that non-conference schedule. And ahead of them, we've got South Carolina at 6-6. Six and six. Um, I think they split with North Carolina and Clemson. They win one, they lose one. I did, on my official predictions, pick them to lose to North Carolina and beat Clemson. Um, and then in the conference, I think they go 3-5. and five. I think they're right there or about where Florida is. Enough to get to a bowl game, but I'm not... You know, I've seen a lot of predictions with South Carolina up there, like 8-4, and four, maybe 9-3. and three. I don't think they have the roster. I don't think they're going to be good enough to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you know, I do believe in Shane Beamer. I think this team will be prepared and motivated and all of that. But I just don't know if they have the roster. I just don't know. I mean, there's a lot of tough games in the SEC, uh, like I said. So Kentucky ahead of them, 8-4, and 4-4 four, four and four in the conference. Um, I think they're going to have the defense like they always do. And now you look at the offense. Uh, they've got weapons. They've got more weapons than they've had in a long time. Really going to come down to Devin Leary and how well he plays at quarterback. Um, I don't think he's going to be an all-SEC performer, but I think he's going to be solid. I think he's going to be pretty good for them. And again, a lot of weapons around him. I've got Kentucky as that number three team. And then at number two, Tennessee. I think they build off of last year, have another really good season at 10-2, and 6-2 and two in the conference. Not quite enough to take down Georgia. Uh, I have them losing to Georgia and then also losing to Alabama on the road. But still, I think this team will be about as good as they were last year and, and have a great year. But I have Georgia at number one, 12-0, undefeated again, 8-0 in the conference. Uh, Tennessee would be the one game that they could possibly lose. Uh, that's the only game I see them potentially losing in the regular season. This team's just going to be really good again. They've they've set the standard not only in the SEC but in all of college football. This is the program. This is the program to beat. And Kirby Smart's got Georgia uh, right there as, I think, now the best program in college football. So that sets up Alabama and Georgia in the SEC championship. Uh, could possibly see it being being LSU and Georgia here in this game. But, uh, again, we're going to go with Alabama-Georgia in the SEC Championship. Alabama already with two losses, but a win over Georgia probably would be enough to get them into the college football playoff, depending on what happens with everyone else. So this will be a huge game. Again, playoff implications would be in this one. Uh, Georgia, maybe if they lose, could still get in. But they had a pretty weak schedule. They have a pretty weak schedule this year. So a loss here might not get them in. Again, that kind of depends on what's happening around the rest of the country. Uh, but I just I think Georgia's going to win it. I think Georgia wins this game. Um, I think Alabama's offense is not going to be good enough to score on this Georgia defense. And I, I just think Georgia, uh, again, they're the team to beat. I think they're going to be the best team again this year in the SEC. And I think they're going to win the SEC championship once again. Go undefeated all the way to the college football playoff. And, of course, I will be doing my playoff predictions after we go through all the Power 5 conferences. So make sure you watch for that video. But I want to get your predictions. What do you think about the SEC? Let me know down in the comments below.